What can you bring through airport security in regards to sporting or camping items? Well, in this video, I'm gonna break down which of these items you can take with you on an airplane so that by the end of this video, you'll know what you can pack in either a checked or carry-on bag before you arrive at the airport. Let's go. Dream vacations start here. So to start out, I'm just gonna list out all the items that you can pack in either a carry-on or check bag without a problem, meaning there are no restrictions for packing these items, and more importantly, you're not gonna have an issue from the TSA. These items are basketballs, baseballs, footballs, soccer balls, bocce balls, bicycle chains, bicycle pumps, bowling balls, boxing gloves, an empty cooler, cowboy spurs, divot tools, fishing pools. And we'll stop here to talk about fishing pools for a minute. Now, even though technically you're allowed to pack fishing pools, you might want to check with the airline to make sure they fit the airline's size limitations. Also, sharp fishing tackles should be securely wrapped and packed in your check bags. But just like other high value objects, you might want to pack expensive reels or fragile tackle that does not pose a security threat in your carry-on bag. And to go along with that, small fishing lures are okay to pack in either a checked or carry-on bag as well. And to continue the list, foam yoga blocks, yoga mat, football helmets, golf balls, golf tees, hand warmers, helmets, long boards, massagers, navigation GPS, rocks, rope, sand, skates, sleeping bag, snowboards, snowshoes, sports cleats, tennis rackets, trophies, vacuum seal bags. And let's stop for a moment to talk about vacuum seal bags. If you want to vacuum seal your clothes, you're allowed to do so, but it's not encouraged because if they set off an alarm, the TSA is going to have to open those bags and well, it's going to be a challenge trying to get your clothes back into your bag. The next group of items are going to be those items that you can only pack in a checked bag. Packing these items would not be allowed in a carry-on bag. These items are Aerosol insecticide. If you're going to be packing one of these, make sure they're not labeled as a hazmat because if they are, they will not be allowed on the plane. Baseball bats, bowling pins, bows and arrows, canoe or kayak paddles, cast iron cookware, cricket bats, golf clubs, hiking poles, hockey sticks, cubitons, lacrosse sticks, martial arts weapons, nunchucks, pool cues, shoe or snow spikes, ski poles, snow cleats, spear guns, Tent spikes and poles, just make sure they are securely wrapped to prevent those items from accidentally poking through your bag and possibly injuring someone. And lastly, walking sticks. The next group of items are gonna be those items that are allowed to be packed but require special instructions to do so. So I'll go through these one by one. The first one is an air mattress with a built-in pump. No problem packing one of these in a check bag, but if you wanna pack one in a carry-on bag, you just need to check with the airline to make sure it's within the size and weight limitations for your flight. The next item is antlers. If you're going to bring one of these as a carry-on, you'll just need to check with the airline to make sure it can fit in the overhead bin or under the seat in front of you. Bicycles. The problem with bicycles is that it's a size issue. So you need to check with the airline you're flying with to see if they'll allow you to bring a bike. But from a TSA perspective, there's no restriction. Camp stoves. Camp stoves can be packed in either a checked or carry-on bag. You just need to make sure that all the fuel is removed from them and that it's clean so that there's no vapors or residue remaining in them. The next item is CO2 cartridges for life vests. Now you can bring up to two CO2 cartridges inside the vest, plus two additional cartridges that can be packed in either a checked or carry-on bag. However, they do need to be packed with the life vest. They can't be packed by themselves. Next is crampons. No problem to pack these in a check bag, and generally, they're allowed to be packed in a carry-on bag as well. However, if the TSA officer feels it poses a security threat, they may prohibit you from carrying them on board. So to be safe, keep them packed in a checked bag. Parachutes. You can pack a parachute in either your checked or carry-on bag, in either with or without automatic activation devices. The parachutes do need to be packed separately from your other baggage. If the TSA needs to inspect the parachute, you do need to be present to assist with the inspection. They will page you if they need you, but if you fail to show up, the TSA will not allow it on the plane. So if you're gonna pack a parachute, make sure you give yourself at least 30 minutes for the additional screening. And also, if the TSA unpacks your parachute, they're not responsible for repacking it. Next is skateboards. Skateboards can be packed in a check bag without a problem. However, for a carry-on, you'll need to check with the airline to make sure it meets the size and weight requirements. Tents. You can pack a tent in either a checked or carry-on bag, but you need to make sure the tent can fit in the overhead bin or under the seat in front of you if you plan to pack it as a carry-on. Also, the tent stakes and poles must be packed in a checked bag. Umbrellas. These can be packed in either a checked or carry-on bag. If your umbrella is one of the long ones, then you'll just need to check with the airline for any size restrictions. There are a few items that you will need to leave at home. You will not be able to pack these items in either a checked or carry-on bag. These items are bear spray bear bangers, 
And small compressed gas cartridges, unless it's completely empty and the cylinder has an open end to it that allows the TSA officer to visibly inspect it to ensure that the cylinder is indeed empty. And if there's an item you had a question about that was not mentioned in this video, feel free to ask me in the comment section of this video. Or the other thing you can do is ask the TSA directly, and you can do this through Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter by searching Ask TSA. And it helps if you have a picture of the item, that works well, or even an Amazon product link. This will give the TSA a good visual of what you're trying to bring on board so that they can give you accurate information. Hey, make sure to give this video a like if you found this video helpful to you and consider subscribing to see more of these type of videos. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in a future video.